Now we should do it with the president. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, they tried to do it with Clint. No, but I mean, I, I don't mean that. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to be flippant, but I think, I think when I saw President Obama spending your money, we're not Americans, but spending Americans' money at the level that he's spending American people's money, and their children's money, and their, those children's children's money, you know, there should be, there should be a position where the people can say, no, you can't spend, you can't spend, you know, you, you, you wouldn't elect you to spend the money of our, of our grandchildren, of children who are not even born yet, that they will be paying back this vast, huge, massive spend. Because when I saw that happening, I was thinking, how can anyone have the power to spend other people, the money at that level, you know, and, and, and it's you're, scary. You're, 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 Yeah. yeah. Well, listen, very scary. I, I think there's a lot of pressure in America to become more European. This is the big thing, you've got to become more European, you know, it's very sophisticated, etc., etc. Well, let me tell you about Europe, you know, we come from Ireland, the Greens are in government, it's 13% unemployment and heading upwards. Uh, we have, we're, we've got one of the worst recessions in the Western world, and the Green Party's solution to that is to bring in a carbon tax, and on an island that's overwhelmingly dependent upon tourism, to bring in an aviation tax. That aviation tax. So everyone who takes a plane to Ireland has to pay, and, everyone, and a carbon tax, we import all our oil, so let's bring in a carbon tax. So that's the green solution, and, that, and we have 13% unemployment. Spain, the home of green jobs, has 17% unemployment, 18% unemployment, and it's heading northwards. So, and next time someone tells you you have to become more European, say thanks but no thanks. Yeah. Drink their wine. There's a lot of other reasons why you don't want to become European. As I say to people, I, we don't understand the healthcare debate, we definitely don't, so we won't, I won't get involved in that. But the only thing I would say is, no one goes anywhere else, except for here, for a second opinion. So why is that? The only place to come to is the United States of America for second opinion. So this awful country with this awful medical system that you have, for some bizarre reason, the rest of the world seems to think that this is the only place they can go for a proper opinion. So you're doing something right.